Hi, my friends. Before we get started, I would like to shout out this beautiful, beautiful sweater vest. Um, here's why. I mean, just look at this. I feel like a dementor. Good. Let's get to the actual video. By now, you probably know that I'm just a mess. Tried bullet journaling, tried using an actual planner, tried spending even $40 for your passion planner. Um, also bought random journals at chapters and tried them all because I figured that maybe it was just the type of planner that was not right for me. For a while I thought I had found what I liked the most and then I realized that I actually hated it and switched to a different one because I thought that one I liked better and I still hated it. And then I bought one in Korea and that one is the one that I like the most just because of the study time section. I do like it a lot, but there is no way that I can stay organized for my entire semester with this because I'm missing like an overview. I need to be able to see the month, the week, the year, the day, all at once. And you might be thinking, but that's what you can do with your bullet journal. Okay, but like, I don't want to spend five hours every single day just to be able to have a decent looking bullet journal. So no, I'm not doing a bullet journal. And I would like to mention that this organization problem has been ongoing for the past 18 years. Got my first agenda in first grade because we were forced to have one. Never used it, except for drawings. You know the title. You know what we're doing. How am I gonna stay organized? Notion! I feel so cliche at this point. Before we get started, this is not sponsored. I don't think I need to say that because I have 65 subscribers. By the way, thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. I love you. Why would I get sponsored? I don't know, but I'm just saying. No one's paying me to say anything. I still don't think Notion is the an all be all planner, but it's the closest thing that I can get to my ideal planner. I did get inspiration from other people as I was making it. I was watching other Notion videos and so I linked down below every video that I've drawn inspiration from. It's still my own take on all these. Let's get started with the Notion tour! Woo! Let's get into it. As you can see here, it's my goals. I, I've talked about it in I think last week's video. My goals are still what they are, but you know, if I want to add something, I'm gonna add something. Now, let's go with the Life Hub first. Let's just go in order of what they show up with. So the body section, I just put the YouTube videos that I use. Basically, I have a playlist that I made on YouTube with all the videos that I like to use to work out, but I figured I should use a little more structure because when there's structure in my workouts, I have an easier time actually committing to doing them. Yeah, I have a little planner here just so that I pick what I wanna do for that day and then I just do the links that are there. All these links are clickable. So if I go to upper body posture, let's say I click here, it opens the video. So it makes it way simpler to go to the proper places. I didn't put goals yet because I don't really have any for now. I mean, I have, I wanna just start with getting a little healthier before putting goals. So I put myself little healthy habits reminder and then like a food plan to try to, you know, follow. And then the little touch that I really like about this planner is that every single page, you can click back by just going here. But I made a little button here just to go back to home. Come on, that's cool. Next one would be the bookshelf. I have one book on this because that's what I'm reading right now. I didn't want to pretend that my notion was full because it's not. It's pretty straightforward. I based this template out of Ali Abdal's book notes template because just like him, I remember nothing of what I read. Ask me my favorite part, ask me what happened and I wouldn't be able to tell you. It's gone. I don't know where it goes, but that's what it is. So I made this little thing. So then just like he does, I can open this and then just enter some information here. That's for the bookshelf. Let's just go back to the, ha the home. Now let's go to the weekly agenda. As you'll notice, it's the only one that I have in favorites because it's the one that I'm gonna have to check often. Now you can see there's this template, which I kind of stole from Rowena. To do this, I just went in the templates and went in I think it was personal and pick the weekly agenda and just from there I moved everything around so it would look like this and I also changed the font to mono because just like Rowena said it looks way nicer like this and I put this little quote here because one of the things that I have the most problem with doing is the small tasks so I won't have a problem doing 
my homeworks or my assignments but as soon as it comes to let's say just emptying the garbage i will push it back so much that i'll just forget that i was supposed to do it and so i'm i put this quote here just to remind myself that if it takes less than two minutes just do it now and i actually got to know this quote from Holly. She talked about the two minutes rule and as soon as she did, I just knew that it was something that I should really apply to my life. For now, this is what it looks like. And basically, I have a problem with to-do lists where I will fill it up until there's just no way I can accomplish everything in the day. As you can see, I used to do my to-do list in my notes app. And so if you look at these, I would just load it. And like, yeah, I broke it down in subtasks, but still like there's so many things. I didn't mean to accomplish all these things at once, right? I decided to try the three things priority idea and just every single day I focus on three tasks and then every other task I put it down. I think this is what the checkbox here was for. So it's just a task I don't know my priority for the day. I put the archives here because I don't wanna have a bunch of pages roaming around. So I'd rather just, and pretty much what I do is once my week is over, every task that I've accomplished, I'm just gonna drag them to the archive area. Let's go back to the home. Now, we have the business one, and that page is the one that's the least customized because I'm not at that point yet. I mean, the purchases I've gone through, it's straightforward. Yeah, we don't have to go through it too much. And the app is gonna come a little later. So for now, this is just a blank page. We don't need to, I just proved it to you. There's nothing there. Now learning. This is by far the prettiest page that I've made. Like that's, wow, beautiful. This was a little extra, but I have a big problem with motivation and with getting my stuff done. I know I shouldn't rely on motivation. I know I need to just do the work whether I want it or not. But like, if I see this, every time I open my computer, it's gonna be like, oh my God, I actually want to learn. Woo, motivation. Anyways, my brain's weird. So university, straightforward. The way I did this is I put my little schedule here and then I put the current grades area here just so that I can know where I stand for in every class. I'll show you a page for one of my courses. If I go to comp 248, pretty simple. I put the syllabus here. Then I have the grades. I just want to know where I stand in the class. And this grades section actually has formulas, which I don't understand any of it. I don't, don't get me started on formulas in Notion. I just know that I'm gonna include all the assignments that are due. I haven't yet because we don't have access to them. I've been refreshing the page. The semester starts in three days, but somehow still no syllabuses. And for this class in particular, I can only access the course material the day classes start at 2 p.m. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, assignment, the date it's due, if it's submitted or not, and then the final grade, the weight, and the weighted grade. Great, we all understand this. I put the grades here. I would have loved for the sum to update on this main page, but I don't know how to do that. It looks quite good though. I'm really satisfied with the look of this page. It's quite straightforward. I put an online course section because I'm using Udemy to learn how to code with Swift. By the way, I would highly suggest looking at your university website to see if you have access to a resource like Udemy or Skillshare. I know that because of the pandemic, my school has gotten a license with Udemy, so I get to use it for free, as long as I'm a student, but that goes without saying. So yeah, I have, I put Udemy here in Skillshare. This page is ugly because I really don't care about it. It's just there so I can put my notes if I ever have them, which I really doubt, but maybe I'll just make a table to keep track of the course that I follow. I'm not sure yet. Now, languages. Um, we know that languages is a really big part of my life. Um, Korean's my focus at the moment. 
and so my grammar is here just like before and I still like my back button but that's what it is my resources for Korean are books that I already have oh and Anki but it doesn't fit in here so it's just checklists pretty much now Spanish, Mandarin Chinese and I also included Japanese but that's for a little later I just put it there because I found a resource and I just wanted to be able to collect my resources as I'm working on the other languages. Basically, for Spanish, I put a vocabulary resource. Now for Mandarin Chinese, for now, I want to go through a vocab frequency list and then a Hansen frequency list. Now I also found a grammar resource. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it because I do have the textbooks that I had in my Mandarin classes at university. So I'm going to go try to find them in my parents' house. And if I can't find them, I'll be using this grammar resource that I found. And the Japanese, I'm not going to go over it because for now it really doesn't matter. It's not in my immediate plans because I want to learn Japanese through Korean. So I might learn some hiragana and katakana. And now we go back to the home. And so the last category, but not the least, it's YouTube, obviously. It's a little video planner. This is something that I've used for a few months at this point. I'll prove it to you. I had it here too, but I decided to start over just because I wanted to, okay? That's, that's what it is. So start it over. There's default view. There's also the board view, which Ah, where are all my groups? I made so many, they're all gone. What? Okay, it's finally fixed. So it's pretty straightforward. I have everything separated in all these categories, just so I know the exact stage I which I am at. I'm trying to be more organized and also to be able to film more and have more content ready in advance because for the past few weeks, I've been recording and editing and posting like within the same within the previous 24 hours of upload time i need to stop this so yeah i wanted to be able to know at what point i am so let's say this one is the one that i'm filming at this moment and so it should be in filming not in script and then when i'm editing it i'm gonna move it here and then when i'm at thumbnails i'm gonna move it here and then ready for publication here and then published here yay and so i have three views i have the board view which is this one I have the default view, which is the one with all the details. And I have the calendar view, which right now is really empty because all I have is the one that I want to upload today in a few hours. But over time, it's going to be filled and hopefully this will help me stick to an actual schedule. Let's cross our fingers. So that's the end of my Notion tour. There's nothing else. We went through everything. Now, once again, if you're interested in this template, you can download it in the link down below. I know that I'm someone who is very particular about the stuff that I use. Like, really, it's a problem. So I mostly built everything on my own based on what other people did instead of just downloading it, except for the grades part, because that one I didn't know how to do. I downloaded this template from somewhere. Oh yeah, I got it here. I got it from Notion. <laughs> That's it for the Notion tour. That's how I stay organized. That's how my entire life will be scheduled from now on. Hopefully I can stick to it. Forgot to cross my fingers. If this video was helpful to you, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. And also let me know in the comments, have you used Notion? Do you use it? Have you tried it? Did you give up on it because it was too hard? I probably say it's really fun. You just have to like play with stuff a little. But if you download my template, then most of it is already done for you. So you can just play instead of doing all the awful work that Notion required you to do. Yay. Yeah, okay, I really don't know how to end this video. Subscribe!